Okay, we're going to test this year. Every month, we're going to monitor our Varroa mite levels. So, it's February now. I don't expect there'll be a lot of mites in there, but let's check and see. We're going to use the testing method uh, called a sugar roll or a sugar shake. It uses powdered sugar. The bees that are involved in this uh, won't be harmed. I'm going to take a frame out of the way. We need to get to the center of the brood nest. So the most mites will be on the frames with brood. I want to check and make sure that the frame that we're going to use a sample of bees from does not have the queen on it. There's a lot of open brood on this frame. We need the brood that is just about to be capped over. All the larvae in here are very young. Let me try the next frame in so we'll have the most accurate account, account of mites. There's plenty of capped over brood. Capped over brood. We'll sample this one. I'll take some kind of a container that's big enough to put a frame in, and I'm going to shake the bees in there. I want to look for the queen first, make sure the queen's not on this frame. It would help if I'd marked her. The mites will enter a cell just before their bees are done capping it. You can see that cell right there is almost capped over. So I expect we'll find some mites on this frame. What I want to do is shake some bees into my container. I'll take a half a cup, half a cup of bees, which is about 300 individual bees. I'll put them in my mason jar, put on my screen, it's a number eight hardware cloth over the top. I'll return the bees that I'm not using, get them out of, the, out of my way for a minute. I'll take some powdered sugar. The measurement here isn't real critical, maybe two heaping tablespoons. And we roll the bees around in it. When the bees get coated with all of this sugar, it'll dislodge the mites. Let them crawl around in that for a minute. And then we'll shake the sugar and the mites out, leaving the bees inside the jar. Okay, the bees have been in there a couple of minutes. We're gonna shake the powdered sugar and any mites that were on the bees off. I've chose this lid because it's white, we'll be able to see the mites better with a white background. You have to shake fairly hard, but not hard enough to kill the bees. We'll return these bees in a moment and they'll be okay. There's one mite. We'll spray water. I'm spraying water on this. That'll dissolve the sugar, and so now we can see the mites. Two, three mites. Three mites. That is about four mites. There's another one. So the economic, uh, let's see, one, 
two, three, four, five. Five mites in February. The economic threshold for mites is about three. So I need to make a decision now uh, how to treat, how to deal with these mites. I'll return the bees to the hive. They'll clean each other up. No harm done.